the Nuggets go down 3-1 in the West Conference semis, and they come from behind to beat the Clippers 104-89. It is some kind of shock and some kind of loop that we are all thrown for here watching the way the Clippers collapsed with that three games to one lead. Now, we've talked about Doc Rivers a few minutes ago and and what Doc is going to have to wear on this. And, and look, Doc's a guy that uh, I've said many times, Doc Rivers is someone who enjoys a great image because he projects I'm in control, I I can manage the egos really well because he can. You know, everybody, look, Doc has his strengths. The guy's won an NBA championship before. Uh, He also, you know, and forget about the 3-1 leads that he blew. You know, he blew a big lead in Game 7 of the Lakers and, you know, to where they could have won again, and they lost that. Uh, But Doc, when it comes down to failure on the court, it always seems to be I deflect and it's about, listen, we needed to do that better and that and that. And Doc Rivers has never been someone, because of that image, that you look at and go, boy, Doc is, is really holding them back. But now when you take his totality, since he's been with the Clippers in, where he has had all-star after all-star after all-star, and where you've had three all-stars at least on every team and six man of the year a couple of different times, and you still can't get out of the second round, yeah, a lot of that's got to be on Doc Rivers. Everybody with Doc Rivers is kind of like the Jennifer Aniston of the NBA. Where oh my how dare goodness, you? How many how many teams said I would love to have the opportunities Jennifer Aniston had to be a star in Hollywood? I'd love to do be able to do twenty five senseless and, un, and and forgettable romantic comedies. The chances that Jennifer Aniston got, the chances that Doc Rivers had to make the Clippers into an all time team or at least one time to get to the finals, and still they haven't done it. So Doc has to wear it. And I will, before we get to Kawhi, I understand you're going to be upset about what I said about Jennifer Anderson. So go ahead, buddy. I know. No, I'm just going to give it its 30 seconds. Look, she's America's <laughs> sweetheart. She's an institution. Uh, she reminds you to drink water and take care of your skin. Uh, the important things in these, in these times. But you can't forget the simple things. Uh, and, all, and also, I mean, come on. She's lovable. She gave us uh, flair. And office space, you can't you can't deny that was great. Come on, buddy, I think you're just too harsh. I I, I think didn't she leave the movie at the end because she was done and didn't want to be in it anymore, and that's why she's not in the end of the movie. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> Sorry, spoiler alert. I think that's why I think she left the movie. <laughs> I think you're just making stuff up. I think you you got to find someone to corroborate that. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I, I'm just I'm just saying. Well, it's what I've heard. I mean, I, that's 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 on the internet. I mean, oh, I, I just, know maybe. Uh, but, so from Doc Rivers now, we get to Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. And here is a game in which Kawhi Leonard in Game 7, this is why the Clippers got him, right? This is why he came here. He Kawhi. comes up with 14 points on a 6 of 22 shooting night. Now, Paul George was terrible as well. He's 4 out of 16 for 10 points. We'll get to all of this. We'll get, I feel like yeah, Benoit Everybody Blanc gets their part. Out. Yeah, well, Benoit Blanc got to everybody in Knives Out. Oh, no, Joni, we'll talk about you in a few minutes. We'll, we'll get to everybody, but this is about <laughs> Kawhi Leonard. Because I told you it was, it was a week ago, right? It was last week when I said, you know, instead of jumping up and down saying how Kawhi Leonard's an all-time great, cause, but Kawhi Leonard's a, re- a terrific player, let's kind of look and see if he's someone who took advantage of being on stacked teams because it wasn't his team when he won the championship with San Antonio. And when he left, they were the same in the regular season they were the year before he left. Okay, he goes to Toronto, leads Toronto to the, to the world championship, and his legend is born. Well, as you see, that team was pretty loaded because the same exact team nearly gets to the East Finals without Kawhi Leonard last year. So was Kawhi Leonard, is he an all-time great player, or was he someone who fills in the cracks on loaded teams? Because that first Spurs team was still Duncan and Ginobili and Parker. And now here he is with an, I'm going to do it again with the Clippers, and they can't get out of the second round. And he plays terribly. All right, first of all, if you're LeBron James, I know he's on social media tonight because he's sitting here going, they better say the same stuff about Kawhi they'd say about me if I had this kind of game. If I'm six out of 22. What do you think his burner accounts are like? (laughs) If I'm say, oh he's just he's just like tight. Remember Jim uh, Jim Carrey in uh, uh, Bruce Almighty when he was just answering everybody's 
uh, prayers, and it was just really fast typing, and he was just doing yeah. that the whole – that's yeah. what LeBron is doing with his burner accounts right now. Just all the typing, all the typing, all the <laughs> typing. But seriously, he's, he, he's saying they better be saying about Kawhi what they'd say about me if I go 6 for 22 in Game 7. Kawhi Leonard went from, look at Kawhi, it's his league, it's so great, and now suddenly there is no third championship, there's no more MVP, the Clippers are out, they can't even get to the West Finals, and Kawhi Leonard, do we overvalue him? Is he a little bit overrated? Yeah, Kawhi Leonard's a terrific player. He is a terrific player, but he was the best player on two loaded teams, and they won. He was the best player on a third loaded team, and they blew a 3-1 lead, and he was terrible in Game 7. All right, so, that, so that's the If you want to be an all-time great and, and you want to be talked about like LeBron James, like we talk about him, and Kobe Bryant, and all the all-time greats, you know what? When you have a bad game seven, when, you, when your team doesn't win, you wear it because that's what it means to be an all-time great. That's the kind of criticism you get. So if Kawhi's going to be, this is the criticism he has to get. But I look at Kawhi and I go, is he really an all-time great? Is he really an all-time great? Or is he someone who enjoys a great image because he's quiet? He doesn't cause a lot of controversy. He's a great teammate. His teammates like him, and, and his talent is not in question. But you want to you want to say suddenly Kawhi is a guy like Oscar Robertson and Michael Jordan? Okay, you know what? Then you got to hold him to the same sta- standards. And he clearly does not match up when it comes to those same standards. That's just the reality for Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't know where to uh, divert that, or do I just you know take a sledgehammer and keep piling on? I mean, his history is what it is. I mean, he, you know, whenever you can put some accolades to it, right? Here's a trophy that gets voted on, and, and let's face it, uh, they they stole Fred Van Vliet's MVP award. Oh yes, a year they ago. did. That was a Fred Van Vliet MVP, right? clearly. Like yes. you and I were on, on air as that was going down, looking at each other, going, "He's going to get screwed." And without him, they, they, they don't have a chance. Like, he was a star <laughs> during that, that, that entire run. But, you know, you, you look at that, and, and it's easy to say, well, he's got this, he's got this, so check these boxes and move on. But the, the totality is that he's a great player in fortuitous circumstance. And, look, you make your own breaks, right? Uh, what is luck? Uh, preparedness and opportunity combined. And certainly in San Antonio, you had the juggernaut rolling, decided to leave, has the one-year stopover in Toronto where everything comes together. Uh, they catch a couple of breaks, and boom, you get the victory. Here, you got a chance. I mean, you, they're done. They're gassed, and you've got them on the ropes three games to one, and then you can't close out games three straight times. right? He and Paul George combined – shot less than 30% from the field. I don't know what the actual number is. I haven't added it up yet, but just kind of the eyeball. It's it's a miserable, miserable run from your two would-be superstars, and, and Kawhi's got to wear it, right? Doc Rivers is going to take the heat. He doesn't play the game, right? In the end, your your superstar has to take over. Missing easy, uncontested shots, which he did in this game, and not get into the foul line, failed to do that, right? They were calling fouls all over the place on Denver, yet, you know, Kawhi Leonard didn't get to the line once. Paul George got there one time, settling for jump shots oftentimes, but then going in timidly around the rim. I mean, all of that wears, and it, and it chops away at the legacy right away, right? People are quick to say, hey, Jordan retired, or Jordan did this, and... In the end, you know, those that want to tear it down can tear it down, but he, he didn't shrink away in fourth quarters. <laughs> I yeah, mean, that's, that didn't happen. LeBron James, you could say, hey, he makes a shot, doesn't make the shot, or he makes the pass to a wide-open teammate as he draws a double, the right basketball play, and we can argue that till we're blue in the face. But he didn't pull a disappearing act when his team was on the precipice of closing out a game. What is he, 15-1 and one in his last 16 closeout attempts? Mm-hmm. Kawhi Leonard had three shots in this series and failed miserably. And, you know, and I'll tell you this, for, for the reaction that's going to be, it, it's, it's a difficult time. And, and wait till we tell you what Doc Rivers said coming up in a oh. few minutes in the post game. Oh, oh, my goodness, Doc Rivers. If, you, if you're fired to, right now if I'm if in he charge. Wa- he Just wanted packed. to get the whole heel of his foot in his mouth, you know, when he was saying. Oh, um, my goodness. Is that, look. This is a different kind of postseason, obviously. All right, Let, let's step back for a second mm-hmm. and understand sure. in the bubble during a pandemic, it's, it's different. And we had an interruption in the playoffs. 
where the Lakers and Clippers didn't know if they still wanted to play. In, in an informal vote, we're like, well, we can bag on the season and, and not play. I, I, and maybe coming back from that is hard, and, and, and you're, you're, sitting, you're sitting home and saying, all right, well, it is different, and maybe the Clippers couldn't find uh, the right gear again. No, 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 that's a load of crap because they were up 3-1. No matter what you, it's not like they 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 were things were going great and they get to the series and we're going to play and suddenly the Nuggets come out and win four zip. Well, wait a minute, that shouldn't happen. How does that happen? Maybe you are. They were up three one. They were up three one in the series. They had fifteen point leads in in the la, in in two of the last three games. They were up nine tonight and they still found a way to lose. So you can't tell me it's oh it's 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 about the bubble. Look, everybody, all the NBA players. They want to make sure social, their social message goes out there. Everybody wants it. Is it difficult? Yes, it is. It's extremely difficult. But the Lakers have found a way. Okay, the Heat have found a way. The Celtics have found a way. Jason Tatum found a way until tonight when Bam Adebayo's wrist said, no, thank you. Uh, everybody else has found a way. So you can't, I, I can't look at this and go, well, the Clippers, because look, the Lakers, they're in the finals. They're in the Western Conference. They, they figured out a way around it. They figured out a way to do it. So I, I, I can't buy that part of it as well. It's a different kind of – no, no, no. They were up 3-1, and they couldn't close out. It's a different kind of play, but it's different for everybody. You know, the Clippers aren't the only team playing in the bubble. They're not the only team that sits there, well, well everybody else is playing at home. No, no, no. The Clippers had their chance. They were up 3-1, and they blew it. And that's got to be worn by Doc Rivers, and it's got to be worn by Kawhi Leonard. Because it, it, it's so easy to, to be shown as, okay – uh, you know, yes, Kawhi Leonard happened to win two championships with two different teams. Uh, you know, so is LeBron. So, so is LeBron. But everybody wants to jump up and down and go, oh, LeBron's not that guy. LeBron, no, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. It's, it's just a different yardstick. It's a different measurement when you really want to say, okay, you want to be in that uh, goat conversation. You want to be in here's somebody who, who is, is really the, the unassuming and the untold super-duper star of the NBA. No, no, no. When that light shines bright, everything is on the table. Everything comes out. It's like, so what do they say in, in, in court? The biggest thing is wait till discovery. Everything comes out in discovery. If you really want to be, if you really want to be part of that, this is this is where you are. And clearly, LeBron James has been bigger at the moment than Kawhi Leonard has. LeBron James has always had more on his plate. He is he is he is a divisive personality. He is polarizing. He has fans. He has people who can't stand him. And still, this is where he is right now in the West Finals with a chance to get to the finals as well. And the Clippers, despite the fact they built a super team that was deeper than just about any team in the NBA, they still can't get out of the second round blowing the 3-1 lead the way they did. So you have to wear that. This is not just it's all on Doc, it's not Kawhi. No, no, no. That's the one part we'll agree with Doc. It's all of us. It's all of us. There is a lot of blame to go around. But that's the truth. If you really want to break it down that way, that's how you break it down. 